Yo, how's it going everybody? This is Julian over at Boss Labs. So today we're looking at spicing up your simple graphics in After Effects by adding a glow effect. Now adding this effect won't magically give your videos more views or your channel more subscribers, but it will give your video a little extra eye candy for people like me who are attracted to shiny things. If you watched our previous video where Chui talks about improving your on-camera comfort level, you saw this style of graphic in use. So let's take a look on how to accomplish this. For this effect, we'll be using a free plugin by Video Copilot called Saber. I'll leave the link to where you can find it in the description below. Here we have After Effects open. Let's get started by creating a new composition. Create a new solid by going to Layer, New, Solid. Now to check if Saber is correctly installed, make sure our layer is selected and go up to Effect, Video Copilot, Saber. You should see this light beam on a black background. Now Saber has a large number of settings you can change to tweak the look of your effect, way too many to go over in this video, but we'll only be playing with a few things for our current application. Under Preset, we can change the look of the effect. We'll be using the Neon preset and tweaking it for our specific use. Glow settings below that pretty simply change the look of our graphics glow. Under Customize Core, we have more settings, but we'll only be messing with the core type. If you click the drop down, you'll see that we have three core types. Saber, which we're currently in, Layer Masks, and Text Layer. We'll come back to these in a bit. Further down, we have Render Settings. Currently, our background is black, so if we were to add a video below the glow effect layer, we can see that nothing has changed. In order to add transparency to our glow layer, go down to Composite Settings and change it from black to transparent. And there we have Chewy. Now that we can see our footage in the background, let's go back up to Customize Core. We'll skip layer masks for now and select text layer. You can see that we can now select the text layer. We haven't created one, so let's go ahead and do that. Go up to layer, new, text, and type out some text. Now back in our glow effect layer, select the text layer. We can now hide our actual text layer and play with the glow settings to get our desired look. If you want to update the text, make the changes on your text layer, but know that you might need to tweak your glow settings afterwards. Let's take a look at the layer masks core type. Create a new solid by once again going to layer, new, solid. Add the Saber effect and change the composite setting. Under Customize Core, Core Type, select Layer Masks. Now if we add any sort of mask, we'll get that glow effect following the patch. You can accomplish some cool graphics by manually creating masks in After Effects, but most of us might already have logos, icons, or other graphics that we would like to use. For example, here I have a vector graphic that I created in Illustrator. I'll put a link to it in the description if you want to follow along. After adding it to the timeline, turn on Continuously Rasterize for the layer. You know it's on if you see the little star icon in the second box. If you don't see these icons, go down here and click Toggle Switches Modes. Now go up to Layer, Auto Trace, and press OK. Now 
Looking at our timeline, we now have a new layer with auto traced included in the layer name. We can now delete our original puzzle layer. If you expand the auto trace layer, we can see that we have several masks that were created, which is what we need for our effect. Add the saber effect to our auto trace layer. Change the core type to layer masks and the composite setting to transparent. Once again, adjust the glow settings. And now we have our glowing graphic ready to animate. Now that we have our graphic, let's give it a quick reveal animation. Under Customize Core, we have Start Offset and End Offset. If you scrub through the value, you can see the graphic goes through kind of a trace effect. So on the end offset, set the value to 0%. Press the stopwatch to add a keyframe. Go forward in time, I'm going to make this animation 3 seconds long. And increase the value to 100%. And there's our animation. Well there you have it. A simple glow effect for our After Effects graphics using the Saber plugin. Once you have the steps down, this technique can be used to give your graphics a little more visual interest in very little time. If you want to see more examples on how we use this technique, check out our previous video. If you have any questions concerning what we talked about here today, or future After Effects tutorials you would like to see, hit us up in the comments below. We'll see you in the next one.